Peace, 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 peace. This is part two. And I'm Chocolate Amon Ra. And this is a special school for me today. Super fact, because one of my sons got married. So, I want to share this class lesson with y'all, those who watch it. And, um, let you see family values. Let you see the difference how two loving couples to get together from different cultures but can come together as one. And I want you to see these videos. I post a lot of stuff on on um, Facebook, but I wanted you to see the videos. So I want you to see these videos and learn from them. Yeah. What, you think you can't learn from these videos? Understand one thing. You can learn from all things. When you understand that, you learn from it. Don't put it in, oh, I want to get married too. Nah. My son and his wife, they've been together for over 10 years before they got married. So understand that concept. Over 10 years. See, people try to tell you you need to marry quickly, but that is not the case. Why I need to do that? Why didn't you need to do that? Why do people need to do that? Marry so fast. You don't even know the person. Let's be real. Let's stop playing games. If it takes a while, so be it. But when you make the decision, make sure the decision is permanently. Let's go pay all due respects to the creator. And then let's get back into these videos. The sun rises. Assalamu alaikum. Good morning. royalty, become royalty, know who you are. You are God on this earth. Understand the concept. Now, in this video that you're going to see, you ain't going to see none of that Christmas stuff and all that other, all that, that mess, that, that, that European um, tradition bull crap. You will see straight up tradition from two cultures to come together and have a good time. Listen here. Understand the videos I'm, I'm showing you. This is personal. This is my personal videos for my family. My oldest son had his wedding yesterday. Magnificent. Part two. Let's get into it.
how everybody having a good time. But let me explain something to you. You have two cultures that's in combined through one marriage. Understand this. You see the children, right? You have Pharaoh. You heard his brother, which I've called him Nebuchadnezzar. They call him Nebo. He said, Pharaoh, get up and dance. These are the names I gave them as lords years ago. Oh, they ain't men now. 25 years old and better. Understand something. You can shape and they will become who they gonna become. But you, you as a parent have to Stay the course. Stay the course because your children watch you. Your children observe you and your behaviors. Regardless of what they do in life. Always set an example for them. And all the children are successful and the things they do. You get ups and downs. Because that's part of life. You get up. And you go again. Remember this. You. Are the vocal point. You are the starting. For your children. They watch you and see. How what you're going to do. So be the best can be and the end results will be gratifying I don't care if you are father stepfather grandfather you are uncle brother who's got to take care of your kids or take care of somebody else's kids or you marry somebody who have kids once you step into this life Once you step into this life, remember, remember this, you do the best you can. You don't need to be no rocket scientist. You don't need to be reading no dictionary to understand this. This is life. This is real. You can pray all you want to. At the end of the day, you have to walk that aisle. That aisle is success. Refuse to fall. Refuse to go under, but stay arisen and watch your children rise to the occasion. A chocolate almond raw. Let's get to another clip. Because so far you're seeing Ramsey, you see Neba, you see Pharaoh. King was in his small clip. Four lords. And then you got the goddess, Elisha. Five, that's on the mother side. That's my children on another side. See, I don't just have a baby and leave them. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. I don't believe in that. You stay in touch. Even though you all get older now, you stay in touch. When they need you, you try to be there. If you can't, pick up the phone and say, I can't make it. But if there's no excuses, don't have none. No excuses. Because while we on this planet, we're supposed to enjoy everything that's here that is given to us. 
And the number one precious thing is... Our children. Our children are the greatest gift. Remember, and watching them be successful in what they do. Let's get to the next clip. Thank <laughs> you. 
peace, peace, peace. I hope you've been enjoying these videos that I've been putting out there of the wedding. Different parts, different clips. Seeing my lords, my four sons and my daughter. Are you prepared for that responsibility? Hmm? You see, it's not always about money. It's not what it's all about. It's about being there when they call for you. That's what it's about. Regardless. You might not like it. The way they choose their life. But if their life is positive, and if their life is on a righteous path, you continue guiding them. Because it is their life. It's their body. And if they walk in that path of righteousness, they say, no one's perfect. Let's make it clear. But we try to be the best we can be. You see, when you heard Neba says Ramses. See, I told you, get your pencil and paper and write that down. You were hearing the names of, of lords, Ramses, Pharaoh, Nebuchadnezzar. Each one was given a name according to their character when they was a child. So when I seen them, I watched them and I studied them. Understand why I did that. Now, this was over 20 some years ago. It was already in me. The transformation to take place of the African spirituality. Understand. Understand this clearly. Either you're going to change who you are. Either you change it or you're going to be changed. Don't let a circumstance or an issue change you and form you into something that you don't want to be. But change because you choose to be the change. And it's just you changing the people around you will see it. But it has to be in the same flow, naturally flow, so they understand what's going on personally, psychologically, physically. Understand that. That flows naturally on a natural course. So when you do make a change, and it must be positive, and watch the reactions, how your children will respect you in the manner that you're going to. You gotta lay down the law. You gotta become who you wanna become. And as you can see in the videos, those boys, successful. One of them was speaking on the mic. You understand? He's got basketball tournaments going on. He's got his, he's his own entrepreneur. The one on the mic, he held the mic. That's never. With his hair, his hair braided, um, excuse me. Um, that's never. He was on the mic and he was saying, Ramsey's supposed to scratch. He's the entrepreneur. He's got many things going on. Also, you have Ramsey's. You'll see him on Facebook. He has his own thing going on. Every All my boys are successful. Oh, yes. So you got to understand something. The mother and the father has to be successful and allow the children to see this. Now, if it's just one parent in the house and the children see this, guess what? The children still going to respond to be successful because you are mirror. They see you. Reflection of what you do. You have to understand this. 
And when it's two, that bond is even more powerful. When they know you are successful. Now, if it happened that the two parents split up, we're going to talk about that in part three. We're going to talk about just because you split up doesn't mean it's the end. Understand that. If you split up and you're not with your woman or you're not with your mate, your man, doesn't mean it has to be not successful. No. You go on by your way, but you keep the friendship respectfully. The reason why is it ain't about you. It's about them. When they see this, they will understand why you broke up. And when you, when they see that, but they still see a respectful pattern there, and you, they see that you, they show love, well, guess what? That will help them in the future. The reason I have to bring that up is because a lot of people go through this. They're not with, the mates are not with each other, the male and the female, and they got children together, a child. So we have to understand that you got to get a better understanding with you and the woman. Because if you and the woman are not getting along, you got to figure out how to get along, especially when you got children. You still got family. Family is a deep thing. It's deep. But the question is, is how you choose to live it. Understand that. It's how you choose to live it. And don't get me wrong, I know some people are a pain in the ass. We know that. When they decide to grow up out of their own selfishness, sometimes you gotta be patient. Of course, we don't like it, but out of the children, you gotta figure out you might have to be more mature for everybody to get along. Listen, it is part of life. I see you on part three. Class is in. Just because I'm showing you my, my son's wedding, it's a lot to learn from it. See you in three.